Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Preferred Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom post app tutorial for beginners and this is our part 9. In this video session guys, we will implement our filter movies by author and now inside this video session guys we will use a parse query filter hook and also if you are a beginner to this channel guys then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of this playlist to get the clear concept about part number 9. So basically guys in our previous video sessions just go to browser this is the movies that we have registered so far so if I click that this is the drop down list we have added in our previous video session. Okay, so what we are going to do inside this video inside this video if I click on any of the author I am clicking on filter so by the help of this filter by author ID we actually we are getting inside this URL as the query string parameter by getting this query string parameter we can actually filter out all these movies related with this author so just back to editor so this is the plugin guys that we have registered so far so in our previous video session this is the top down list of all the authors we have populated inside our filter box okay so in this video session guys we are going to use or add filter let's say add filter inside this add filter we are going to use called parse query now we need to attach a callback function so let's say wpl owt let's say filter by author okay so just I'm going to define this callback function first of all just copy that let's say function this is the function name inside this callback function guys we have to pass a parameter called query okay so right now just go to inside this callback function we are going to write our parse query section by the help of this callback function guys we will filter all the movies related with the key called filter by author if you have remembered then in our previous video session this is the key that we have passed inside this query string parameter so by getting this query string parameter we are going to filter out all these movies okay so just back to editor so first of all we have to define some of the global parameters to use in action so first parameter that is type now so let's say type now in the second parameter we are going to define page now so all these two global parameters guys return some of the values so basically this type now variable returns the type of this post type basically this is the movie of custom post type so type now will return the value called movie and the second parameter that we have defined as the page now it will return the page name and the page name is something called add.php okay so by comparing these two parameters we actually are going to make our filter query okay so let's say that if and before making this if let's check that author id so let's say that it said this is in get parameter this is coming by url so just make copy of this key and let's paste it here so by getting this filter by author id so let's say that if it is set we are going to retrieve its integer value otherwise let's pass empty value so we are going to check all these values inside our if condition so let's say that if type now equal to equal to movie means it is of type movie and also if page now page now should be something called add.php and also author id should not be empty okay so let's say that not empty author id so by validating all these conditions we are going to make our filter query so basically what will be the query that we are going to make so if i go to database table this is the post meta just i'm clicking on that and now inside this post meta guys if you have remembered from the last video sessions then we actually saved the key called author id movie this is the author id movie key that we have used to make our movie related with that author okay so we have to compare the author id we are getting from this url we have to compare this author by this key author id movie so by comparing all these two values called meta key and the meta value we are going to retrieve this post id so by the help of this post id means this is the post actually related with this author we can filter out all the posts so just back to editor and now this is the query variable actually contains a key called query vars inside this query vars
we have to pass some of the parameters and the first parameter we are going to pass called the meta key. So basically we are going to filter all the movies of that author by the help of this ID called author ID movie. So just make a copy of that and let's pass inside there. Okay. So basically this is the meta key that we are going to by the help of this meta key we are going to retrieve all the movies and the second parameter we are going to define let's say query this is the query verse and inside this verse we are going to define called the meta value this meta value actually contains the value we are getting this author id so just i'm going to copy this author id and let's say that this is the meta key by the help of this meta key we are going to retrieve all the post id with this meta value as the author id okay that's it we are done so just back to browser and now just i'm clicking again on the movie section so there is no parameter inside this query string okay let's select any user from this drop down list first i want to select author one so author one basically contains no movies found okay just i'm clicking on again let's select author 2 so basically author 2 contains a movie called sample movie 1 again I'm clicking on that let's say 3 so author 3 contains the single movie so let's add another movie let's say sample test movie 6 something called this is the test movie I'm going to select let's say author 2 just click on publish and now if I go on the movie section let's select author 2 click on filter this has actually given the two values with regarding this author as we know that we have filtered about these movies details according to our filter by author called ID author 2 but right now this is not selected so how can we make the selection to this drop down list also okay so just back to editor if you have remembered that this is the WP drop down users function we have used which actually provides the drop down list of author role called author okay this contains another key called selected basically inside this selected we are going to pass some of the values some of the selected values on the behalf of that this drop down list also gets selected okay so let's say that author ID basically let's say it's set we are getting inside this get and this is the called filter by author just I'm going to copy this key name paste here and just let's say that if it is set then int well we are going to retrieve the integer value of that otherwise it will be empty okay so we are going to make the selection of this drop down list so just I'm going to copy this author ID remove this and paste it here Okay, so if we click any of the author from this drop down list by getting this filter by author I as the author ID it will select out automatically the selected user so just back to browser if I click on again on the movie section let's select author 2 click on filter and now as we can see that the movie section also filtered and now this is selected this is because by the help of this key filter by author we actually picked from that URL we have stored inside this variable and we have stored and put this variable inside this selected key by getting this selected it will make the selection of that selected user so basically guys in this video session we have made our parse filter query by the help of that query we actually filtered the created movies according to the author name okay so basically what we did so far in this video session we have actually made use of a filter hook called parse query and we have made a call a callback function this is the callback function that we have defined inside this callback function we have passed a query variable we have to check that which actually post we are going to filter out so basically for that we have defined two global variables type now is used for checking the post type okay page now is used to check the page name and the third this is the author ID actually we are getting from this URL as the query string parameter by getting all these parameters successfully we have stored the meta key and the meta value inside this query verse of this query 
why we have used meta key and meta value here basically we actually used to save all those details inside our post meta table which is of meta key as you can see this is the meta key and this is the meta value okay so basically on the filter condition we have to check that the meta key should be author id movie and the meta value that is the author id we are getting from the url so if i go back to the editor so this is the thing that we have to store inside this key okay so by getting these keys wordpress has looked over all these ids and now it has filtered all the movies and put inside this data table okay and also for making the selected users for the selection purpose this is the code that we did by getting this author id we have selected this author id inside this selected key so I think guys that by the help of this video session I have made the clear concept about how can we implement a filter box and we can filter the movies according to that data okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then just drop your comment I will get my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day